My name is Romeo Olavio. My name is Tino Livermento. My name is Dominic Ballard. I'm a Bella Cocho. Tyler Dibner. Ibrahim Adjalo. Adam Armstrong. Mohamed Salisu. Wow. Uh, 7th of October, is it? 6th. 6th of October, 2022. And I am 16 years old. I am 17 years old. I'm 18 years old. I'm 19 years old. I'm 21 years old. My biggest thing in my life right now is obviously football, trying to push on to be in the Premier League with the first team, but outside of my life, it's just enjoying days as they come and living the dream, really. The most thing I'm working on is how to be a dad. The biggest thing I'm working on is my mental strength. Well, obviously, the biggest thing I'm working on now is, is coming back from the long-term injury that I had about, I think about five, six months ago now. Yeah, so just taking that step by step. The biggest thing I'm working on right now is just progressing with my football and trying to make it to the very top. Mm. I work on be the best father I can. I'm working to, um, to hold the league and uh, yeah, to be in the top 10 next year um, in the Premier League with the Saints. Mm, oof, good question. Whoa. I have to think about this a little bit. Oh my God, so tough question. My biggest regret is that in my youth years at Southampton, I didn't work enough on my physical attributes. That was a tough one, I don't know. Um, my biggest regret... <laughs> Can I have a little bit of time to think about that? Uh, my biggest regret is um, I miss my family. Uh, now um, I only see my family once in a year and, you know, that's my biggest regret. I'm not spending enough time with family because always being at football, that's your main focus and you don't really get as much time as other people with your family. Not spending enough time with my family as I, I should have, but now, now I'm getting to the sounds of it and I go home every weekend, but yeah, maybe a couple of years ago when I just started full time, I didn't really have enough time, but you know, you've got to make time for your family. I wish I could have a normal child life. I live home at uh, 12, 13 years old, so I'm, I was not with my family like normal. Uh, the biggest thing that happened in my career is to sign for Southampton. The biggest thing to have happened in my, my career so far is my first goal in the Premier League against Chelsea. The biggest thing is to win the biggest uh, competition in the, for the young guys in France, the Gambardella. I'd probably say Southampton is making my debut for the first team um, at Cambridge, but uh, for me personally, uh, it's an honour to play for your country and I'd say probably scoring goals for my, for my country. I think the biggest thing to happen would still be my injury. You know, I feel like it's kind of uh, a real eye-opener for me to see how you know, my body will react and uh, it's just a massive test mentally. And um, yeah, in a weird way I've enjoyed it, but at the same time I've been itching to get back so I can't wait. Yeah, playing in the Premier League obviously is a big dream that comes true. The scariest thing that I've experienced is getting chased by two dogs. How old were you when that happened? That was two years ago. I was 16 at that time. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this to go out, but I have a scary thing, but no. <laughs> I <laughs> I just joined the city, so I was waiting for my clearance. So I had to train by myself in the park. And I don't know if the, dog, the dogs weren't me or the ball, but because I don't really like dogs, I just started running. The scariest thing I've ever done is probably a Thought Park ride because I don't like rides. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, scariest thing. <laughs> oh. it hasn't, hasn't happened yet, has it? Um, scariest thing I've ever done is held a snake. The scariest thing I've ever done would probably be 
going to Tully's farm when I was about 11, I think, and going on the tractor ride where you go into like the woods and the forest and people jump on and scare you. I cried, so yeah, that would probably be the scariest thing. How long did you have nightmares about that? I had nightmares for about two weeks. <laughs> I was young, so it's understanding. Oh, I don't know. Nothing. I don't, this is the hardest question. I don't know. Um, I've done a lot of things. Uh, I don't know if it's really scared. Um, but like, jumping from a tree. Jump from a tree. How high? Uh, five meters. Into water? Into water. That's a relief. <laughs> One time when I was younger, I had a, uh, we were on holiday with my parents, and we had a snake. It was like, do you know people that get the snakes and they put it around you, and then I couldn't do it. And that's my phobia of snakes, and I never will do The scariest thing I ever done is to leave my home country. I don't know how to explain this, honestly. What sort of race? Uh, <laughs> okay, um, yeah, you say, um, no, I don't, I, I don't. <laughs> can we skip this? Maybe I'll tell you after because this is <laughs> not good. Not stop where you are, wherever I will be, I want to keep pushing and no matter if I'm 20, 20 appearances in or whether I haven't made my debut yet, I want to I want to keep pushing. To be more open to um, everyone who wants to help me and uh, listen more to advice of other people. Keep on going and keep on working hard and then make sure next year by, by, by this time you, you achieve um, a lot more than now. If something you wanted to happen in a year hasn't happened, just be patient and the time will come. Probably say, first of all, congratulations on how hard you worked to get back. But um, no, just keep going, you know, put in all the hard work when, when you're at your lowest. Now, now you're doing well. Imagine where you can go if you're putting in that hard work when you're, you're training full time and playing.